And Apple is calling the fingerprint one of the best passwords in the world because it goes wherever the user goes, and of course you don't have to remember it. The high-tech feature is now incorporated in the recently released iPhone 5S, but Apple's mainstream use of biometrics is generating controversy, and hackers have already cracked the Touch ID code. CCTV's Mark New has more. The entire back and sides are made. Only a week after the iPhone 5S's release, a group of German hackers known as the Chaos Computer Club won an online challenge for lifting a fingerprint and using it to gain access to the new phone. On the group's website, one hacker was quoted as saying it's plain stupid to use something that you can't change and that you leave everywhere every day as a security token. As a casual thief, they would have to go through a lot of machinations to try to lift fingerprints off it. If you had a fingerprint, it would take you a lot of time and hassle to get into the phone. And during that period of time, you could use a wiping, remote wiping mechanism or a remote locking mechanism to protect the information on the phone. IT lawyer Stephen Wu calls fingerprint scanning a step up in security technology, pointing out that before the iPhone 5S is released, 50% of iPhone users did not use any passcode protection at all, including Yahoo CEO Marissa Meyer. I don't have a passcode on my phone. I just can't do this passcode thing like yeah. 15 times a day. If everyone gives me the right tools and set everything in the right condition for me to realize that hack, guess what? I'm going to be able to do it. Sebastian Tavo says the German hacker had numerous advantages, knowledge of the original pin code required to wake the phone, knowledge of which finger to use, and even a sophisticated gel to get the perfect print. Tavo is the chief technology officer of Validity, the largest independent fingerprint sensing company in the world. Its technology will be available on Android and Windows mobile devices in the coming months. Minnesota Senator Al Franken recently called on Apple to tell the public whether fingerprint details can be extracted from the phone and transmitted to third parties. But the CTO of Validity says Franken is missing the point. No image of the fingerprint is actually stored, but rather it's all a series of numbers. So even if someone extracts this template and look at it, first it's encrypted, and two, if they reverse engineer the way it's been created, they won't be able to generate an image of your fingerprint. If you still don't trust hackers or the system, the experts have a tip. Use your pinky. It's used less often, so it's less likely to leave a print. And it's also harder to lift a usable print since the surface area is smaller. Mark New, CCTV, San Jose, California.